All right, last one for tonight. Question 23. How many positive integers n are there such that 2n plus 1 is a divisor? Goes into, without leaving a remainder, 8n plus 46. Well, if we do a little bit of long division, now you don't have to do it doing long division. We're actually going to do this next term anyway. Some of you may have seen it before, or some of you must may just have had a bright idea that you could try this. If I do a little bit of long division, how many times does 2n go into 8n? It goes in four times. So I could say 4 times 2n is 8n, and 4 times 1 is 4. When we do division, we do our subtraction, and I am left with 42. So this would go into it 4 times plus 42 divided by 2n plus 1. Remember when you do division, what's your remainder? It's really you write it over the divisor. Excellent. So if I want this to be a divisor, this number 42 divided by 2n plus 1 must be an integer. Okay, well, what numbers divide 42? Let's have a quick look at the factors of 42. Well, I've got 1 and 42. 2 would go into 42 21 times, 3 goes into 42 14 times, and 6 goes into 42 7 times. So as long as 2n plus 1 equaled any one of those numbers, I would have 2n plus 1 being a divisor. Now n must be an integer when we solve these. Now if we start by having a look at, oh, I was going to do 4n plus 1 there, silly me. So let's just start each of the cases. If I go 2n plus 1 equals 1, clearly I'm going to have a problem. 2n equals 0, n equals 0. The question says positive integers n. So that's not, not going to be any use for me. It's an integer, but it's not a positive integer. So even though that would work, it's no good. Let's try another one. 2n plus 1 equals 2. We're going to see something interesting here. This number, 2n plus 1, is an odd number. When I've got an even number and I'm dividing it by an odd number, I'm going to have a problem, aren't I? Here we go. 2n is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1. How can I have 2 times n equaling an odd number? Every time I have an even number on the right, when I subtract the 1 from each side, I'm going to end up with an odd, which means n is not going to be an integer. It's going to be a fraction. n equals a half would work. But it's not a positive integer, so it's not going to work. You can check for yourself, but it's not going to work for 6 or 14 or 42 either. Because in each of those cases, my first step, when I subtract the 1, I'm going to have 2 times a number equals an odd number, so n is going to be a fraction. That leaves me with 3 cases. What would it be if 2n plus 1 equals 3? Well, that gives me 2n equals 2, n equals 1. Now, you've probably already satisfied that it's going to work in these three cases, but let's just finish it off. 2n plus 1 equals 7. That means 2n is going to equal 6. n equals 3 would be another solution. And 2n plus 1 equaling 21. 2n equals 20. n equals 10. And that's your third solution. So there are three possible solutions. The answer to this one is also D. I enjoyed that one. I love polynomial division. I like a little bit of reasoning about these sorts of things. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but hopefully you could follow that very quick explanation. Have fun with the questions tomorrow. Just enjoy them. Try a few techniques. Have a go. The worst that can happen is you guess, get it wrong. doesn't matter. Do your best. Cheers, guys.